You know, the vegans get so upset when they watch my videos that they start like, Oh, you're a racist, you're homophobic, you're misogynistic. <laughs> listen, listen, boys, girls, ladies, and gentlemen, or everything in between, you know, take your butt plug out, get back on the toilet, try to develop some sense of humor. Uh, let's see uh, how much fun we can have today. Hey guys, it's Wenji. So today I wanted to show you what I eat in a day to stay healthy. I have a confession to make guys. When lockdown came, I got really lazy with my diet during lockdown. Although you guys may not notice it, weight on a short person, it just kind of goes this way. So I literally am following- I mean, I mean she's lying right off the bat. Uh, uh, how, how can she seriously say that? First of all, the Playboy necklace, she's wearing half a shirt. I'm sure she's got plenty of tall 40-year-old dudes with big noses to squeeze her bony ass every night. Like it a new routine which I really wanted to show you guys to sort of lose weight slowly this is not a crash diet it's just to get into new routines and new habits I also find that when I look after my health my mental health gets better too I went on a spiral guys it was it was not cute and guys I want to thank better help for sponsoring this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you cannot make this shit up this is horrible these better health scumbags are paying these influencers to pretend to be slightly depressed, but they're such bad actors that they can't even pull it off. I mean, I mean, to be fair, this girl might have been depressed seven years ago before she had all the plastic surgery and Botox and lip fillers because she went from like maybe a four to a nine. But what really irritated me and the reason I made this video was because this other complete tool bag, Eric Conover, did a similar sponsorship. Oh, I'm so depressed in my 19 million dollar apartment in New York City. Go to BetterHelp. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting what these people are doing. It's so, I don't know how anyone follows them anymore after these. It's not like they're like, oh, if you have mental health, go check out this sponsorship for better health. No, they're pretending that they were depressed themselves. Yet no honesty whatsoever. It's disgusting. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. Let's go. Guys, you'll need some kale, broccoli, eggs, some snap peas, and some parmesan cheese. Got all the ingredients. We are ready to make our dish. It's called a sauteed kale warm salad. So you want to stir everything, and when it's almost done, it will change color. Anyways, finally, cover it again to let it steam for a few more minutes. Everything is just looking tender, but not overcooked. Add some oil onto the pan, and then beat up the egg. Pour your eggs in and start mixing really quickly. Turn off your stove when it's half cooked. You don't want to overcook your egg. Now put this on top of your kale salad. Finally, to finish off, take some shaved parmesan cheese and sprinkle it on top. And voila, warm kale salad. I, I mean, this is what grasshoppers eat. That's why they're green. And, and yeah, she's not completely vegan. She has a small amount of animal protein. <laughs> but to call this a salad, it's sauteed vegetables with an egg on top. I, I mean, these people are getting really creative, but this is like conventional wisdom of what people think is healthy. Oh, it's green, it's low in calories, therefore it's healthy. You know, would this be completely horrendous if everything was super high quality and organic? You know, the green flavonoids, all those chemicals in those vegetables are not good for your body, good for your liver. You know, if you have a high gut motility and it's high quality, maybe you can, you know, get past this meal a couple times a week, but... Eating this on a consistent basis is not good. A lot of anti-nutrients, a lot of chemicals, a lot of things that you don't want to be consuming, let alone those other problems, the pesticides, the herbicides, the fungicides, if it's just what the average person is eating. Conventional egg, you know, estrogen bomb, a lot of hormones. At least you're getting some protein, but it's still very high omega-6, not good for you. Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, actually a very very high quality thing to be consuming if it's the real deal during my youtube journey there were times where my mental health was not great it meant that i wasn't productive and i wasn't really doing what i wanted to be doing and just like a personal trainer for your physical health better help will find you your very own life like did she ever speak about it in the past this is so ridiculous Licensed counselor for your mental health. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. It's professional counseling done securely online. The great thing about BetterHelp is you get matched anywhere in the world that matches your needs. Okay, if I use BetterHelp, am I going to get a vegan therapist that looks like you? 
Then I might Guys do it. Guys with BetterHelp, you can log in and send a message to your counselor anytime. But BetterHelp facilitates the change process really easily, so you can find a counselor. It's actually disgusting. These people making God knows how much money, living their glamorous lives, you know, being parasites, benefiting off of everyone else being sad, depressed, working menial jobs, and they're almost like rubbing it in your face with this bullshit. Like, oh, we made you this way, so hey, give us some more money. That matches you. And the good thing about this is it's easy and free to change counselors. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and if you guys need financial aid, that is also available. Right now, BetterHelp is offering... Yeah, I hope this, uh, I hope this sociopath's boyfriend is using this shit. Our fam, 10% off the first month, so don't forget to check the link down below to get your 10 And I didn't say this at the start, like, Wenji. Like, what is that, Wedgie? I, I, so someone probably knows what it's answering in the comments. So check it out, take charge of your mental health, but right now... Mmm. It's pretty good, guys. Love snap peas. Except when you don't peel them properly. I don't really like cold salad, but this warm salad is so much better. Much nicer when it's cooked. Guys, this is the most important part, the snacks. I'm gonna show you guys what healthy snacks I have. Of course, I have unhealthy snacks all the time. Red Rock Deli, sweet chili and sour cream, I'm talking to you. My top healthy snack is this seaweed. I love this seaweed. You can get like Korean or Japanese. This is one made in New Zealand. So I don't know how seaweed actually gets certified organic. Maybe if it's grown in a controlled environment that's not polluted. And I guess if you were going to get seaweed from somewhere in New Zealand, it might be the only place it's not polluted. But you know, I did a video a couple months back on is fish too toxic to eat? And those same principles apply to seaweed and how polluted it gets. I personally try to avoid most things from the ocean unless it's like a high quality caviar. Actually, yeah, this is really good. It's really healthy because when I want a snack, I want something like dry and crunchy and kind of like salty thing as well that I really like to snack on. I will get one of these kind bars. My favorite flavor is the dark chocolate nut. It really just falling into the conventional health trap about what people think is healthy. I've tried every single protein, energy, mixed nut bar at the store. They all have low quality crappy ingredients. This isn't organic, so it's definitely full of chemicals. It's high omega-6 because it's nut based. There's a reason I came up with the best bars because not only do these bars taste like crap, they're horrible for you and they're not gonna help you achieve your health goal, whether it be feeling better or looking better. Nuts and sea salt. It just literally saved me on tour because I didn't have time to eat breakfast. I always have one of these in my bag, so if I'm- Again, the lying, the lying. When you have a YouTube channel this big, Kind will pay you to do a sponsorship that's not actually a sponsorship that you won't have to disclose. They'll be like, hey, just show the Kind bar in the video. We'll give you X amount of thousands of dollars and just eat it. You know, you're not, you don't have to say you're sponsored by Kind. It's, it's, it's very misleading. I'm getting hungry and have no other options. This is really good. Also guys, if you feel like dessert and you have a sweet tooth, go for fruit guys. I'm trying to replace my ice cream desserts and all that kind of desserts with the fruit. And one of my favorite fruits right now is blueberries. It's got lots of antioxidants, which is really good for your skin. I hope she watches this because I love the B-roll. I'm just imagining her like standing in her kitchen, like, oh, let me eat these blueberries and not swallow them and pretend like I like them. An unopened container of blueberries straight from the supermarket. Clearly, you've been eating them. And everything like that. My other favorite fruit is like cherries. Guys, cherries can be so expensive. I paid $30 for cherries because it was out of season. This was on sale. All right, guys, it's dinner time. I can't wait to show you my go-to dinner. Add some oil into your pan and then add the plant-based meat. This actually cooks really quickly because it ain't meat. Once you see it cooked through, add some kale or whatever veggies you want to put in this dish and then add the tofu. All of these- I mean, you can't really say something cooks quickly because it ain't meat if it was never raw in the first place. It's just a mix of chemicals, soy, omega-6 that is made to look like meat, heavily heated, heavily processed. These ingredients cook super quick, guys, so it actually doesn't take too long. Oh, guys, I forgot the final touch is spring onion. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to dig in. It smells so good. What I love about this tofu, it is super soft and bouncy. You can literally eat this with a spoon, but oh my gosh. Mmm, flavor and everything, you don't really notice it's not meat. Like, I mean, you kind of notice, but it's not that bad. It kind of tastes like hammy. She, she's not, <laughs> she didn't take a bite of it. This is so funny. <laughs>
<laughs> she did not take one bite of the food. There's nothing on her teeth. The the, the spoon is clean. All right. Oh, let's see if she let's see if she eats it. And bacony. It's got like that barbecue flavor in the meat. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. If you guys haven't tried plant based meat, give it a go. And the spring onions just got that freshness to it. Mm. Oh, she did eat it. All right. Keep in mind, I'm like a. <laughs> This whole video is so fake. There's no way she does anything in this video. Super small person, so I need a lot less calories than taller people and bigger people because my muscle mass is tiny. I just basically eat healthier things instead of eating less. So that's kind of... All right, I, I, that's enough. That's enough. So I guess she's technically not vegan, but you know, if you have you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to spend over a couple of years in plastic surgery and personal assistance, that, 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 makeup artists, professional camera people to edit your stuff, maybe you can swing this diet. But I would not trust a word she says. And the main lesson of this video is not nutrition or diet related. It's to not trust any of these influencers. This is a more obvious example of this. But for the most part, anyone that has a gigantic YouTube channel, you cannot trust the words coming out of their mouth. As truthful, as genuine as it might be, you know, if someone's in a, a three, four, five million dollar apartment and they're going to the supermarket and telling you you should eat grain fed beef or, uh, you know, tofu, they're lying to your face. So uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you like this. I had a little bit of fun today. Uh, so if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and make sure to click that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can check out frank-stefano.com to support all of my businesses as well as help yourself become happier and healthier. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow if I don't uh, fly to Dubai with my new girlfriend.